really want to make a career transition uh, they can uh, uh, definitely join at your job because like uh, uh, they want to treat uh, people like uh, oh you are from computer science so you knew these things already uh, there will be no partiality or something uh, they treat everyone equally and also they uh, teach you with you from scratch uh they doesn't uh, start in between or they don't go directly to the advanced department they teach everything from the scratch uh so uh, people who had no idea about computer science also uh able to learn uh, these things and uh, they will make you to do projects which is really uh, uh showcase your uh, skills Hi guys, welcome back to our YouTube channel. Today we have a very special guest with us, uh, Krishnakant. Krishnakant is a student from our data analytics batch. He recently got placed in a company called IamNeo.ai as a data analyst intern. So today we are having him so that we can discuss all about his journey, how he landed this job, what was he doing before joining this uh, batch, and uh, we will also get to know why he decided to make a career in this field. So do make sure that you watch this video till the end. But before moving forward take a moment to subscribe our channel and press the bell icon so that you're always notified on all our upcoming videos uh, now without wasting any more time let's jump into the session uh, thank you krishnakant for taking out time to do this with us uh, first of all very congratulations on landing this job can you quickly introduce yourself to our viewers yeah oh hi everyone i'm krishnakant I have completed my computer science uh, engineering uh, and uh, passed out in the year 2020. After I was uh, passed out, I was working as an associate analyst in uh, uh, Udom Solutions uh, for about uh, six months, and I had to leave uh, leave that job for personal issues. And later on, I have joined uh, in March uh, uh, at your job for the data analytics, and uh, I was in the first batch of uh, batch and. Uh, uh, after like my course is is about to end and uh, now i have placed in a company called i am new as a data analyst intern uh yeah uh, that's that's about my great so krishnakant you like you mentioned that you graduated last year only uh, in btech computer science right and after that you joined our uh, batch in march right uh, the first ever data analytics batch right so how did you uh, you know gain that conviction of joining uh, as a first batch right i mean you must have had your own uh, you know doubts about it and you can just tell all about it like how did you get to know about it and what was the reason that you finally decided on joining acu job state analytics course so uh, after i left my job like it was uh, quite difficult for me to find a job uh, so i was searching uh, many institute uh, that they provide the uh, placements uh so later i found that your job and i have read at least uh, uh 50 reviews in quora uh, and also in google uh, which are positive and also uh, i have uh, cross checked the alumni list that they have given me uh, with the link thing uh, which is uh, quite authentic so that's why i had uh, uh, that feeling that uh, by joining uh, at your job that i will be definitely uh, Landing on a uh, job or job of my desire, and uh, which indeed happened, and uh, yeah, that worked out for me. So that's how I joined at your job. Okay, great. Uh, so Krishna Khan, you joined it in March, right? And it's been more than uh, you know six months for you here. So can you tell us how the experience was, how you started with it, and you can just share all about your experience, what all things you have learned so far, and how much it has it has changed you even as a working professional now that you're working. Yeah, to speak about that, uh, I was the last person to join uh, in uh, batch one. Uh, like uh, when I inquired about this uh, uh, data analytics course, uh, the batch has uh, had already started. Uh, so I, I, yeah, I was uh, joined uh, as a last member, and uh, uh, I had to miss uh, two classes I guess. Uh, but uh, since I was working as an uh, data analyst, uh, uh, Excel was my first course, uh, which uh, I'm very familiar with, uh, with uh, at one Excel. So uh, it was a piece of cake. for me uh it's a post then uh the second post that we had was uh, sql uh which is uh, 
I know very basic SQL uh, since I had did uh, computer science. Uh, so uh, I was taught uh, intermediate SQL such as joins and uh, those to the advanced level also like Windows function. So uh, they had helped me a lot in uh, solving SQL queries and we had a uh, uh, very uh, how to say new, numerous assignments uh, in SQL writing uh, very simple query to very complex query uh, which had helped me to nurture uh, SQL and also to think in a different perspective also gave me an idea uh, to write query not only in the same way but also in different methods uh, mm-hmm. so later on later that uh, we moved into Power BI uh, so Power BI uh, it's a new tool for me I had no experience in Power BI uh, so mm-hmm. uh, during uh, Power, Power BI uh, I had learned uh, many uh, tax functions uh, and also many visualization. So Power BI was quite interesting for me because due to the visualization as well as the uh, uh, DAX functions. Uh, also it's a new tool so that uh, I was very uh, interested in you know, to learn that new tool. And after that we were given a capstone project uh, which I was uh, uh, doing some of my teammates and uh, we had we can either use a SQL or uh, uh, Excel for SQL data analysis, and we have to do some visualizations uh, in uh, Power BI. Uh, so uh, this uh, capstone project had really helped me to understand that, uh, how uh, things were in the operate level, uh, also how uh, how big a project can be and how can we handle that project. Uh, in a streamlined manner uh, in order to provide uh, better uh, insights in order to gain be- better insights on the data side and to present mm-hmm. more uh, eye appealing visualizations so after the uh, after this yeah after this capstone yeah, project we moved into uh, python uh, and also statistics both were in the simultaneously uh, so uh, statistics uh, math- mathematics has been my uh, favorite subject since school. Uh, that's why my uh, motive is to move into data science field. Uh, so uh, Python also, like I have learned in college. So now we are into a Python module. So we are learning machine learning now. So it is going uh, very well. Okay, great. So uh, Krishnakant, uh, in this company that you recently got placed, I am Neo.ai. Uh, so what was the entire selection process for this company? Like you had already studied a lot on your own, right? You got better at SQL as well. You got learned Power BI as well. So now tell me, like, how was the entire selection process for this company? What all things were asked in this uh, and how many rounds were there? Okay, so when I applied for I am Neo, uh, initially, I had a test in SQL where I had to solve three queries. Uh, so, I did solve uh, three uh, queries, and later on, I was uh, asked for an interview or technical interview where uh, hmm. again I was given a query to solve, uh, which I did. Uh, so, by seeing my performance, uh, they had asked me some questions related to SQL as well as related to Power BI. So after this, uh, I was told that uh, I am selected. After uh, the technical interview, there was a cultural big round where they uh, tested my soft skills and my communication, whether I was able to deliver properly and so those things were done. So that is my last round and after that I had received my journey letter. So this was the whole process. Okay, great. So Krishnakant, uh, when is your joining in this company? Uh, I am joining uh, in uh, 16th of October, next uh, week, Monday. Okay, great. So till then, are you also like continuing studying with us or uh, you are giving yourself some sort of break so that you have some time to prepare for your new job? Uh, I will uh, uh, study this course until the end and I will definitely complete this course since uh, we are about to end. I don't want to uh, give up in big So I will continue hmm. to learn. Okay, great. So Krishnakan, one last question that I would like to ask, right, that uh, you are a fresher who recently graduated last year only, right? And after that you also had a job, but then you decided 
to upskill yourself in data analytics and uh, took a leap of faith and joined Akio Job, right? So any sort of message that you would like to give those students who probably did their B.Tech in some other field, right? And who think that it's too late for them, maybe why should they even try it or not? So what kind of message would you like to give to those who want to make that career transition but are a little bit hesitant about it? So uh, yes, uh, to speak about the career transition, of course, it is a big deal for everyone. Uh, because uh, obviously companies will uh, select candidates uh, based on uh, they will judge candidates based on their uh, degree or what they have studied. But uh, if you do some proper certifications in the desired field uh, and if you do some uh, uh, projects that really shows your talent, then of course like uh, companies uh, will be uh, very open-minded to hire you uh, as for their uh, work. So, uh, uh, for me, uh, I did my computer science daily only. So, for me, it, there, there is no transition like career transition. Uh, but uh, for other people, like uh, uh, if they really want to uh, trans, uh, really want to make a career transition, uh, they can uh, uh, definitely join at your job because, like. Uh, uh, they won't uh, treat uh, people like uh, oh, you are from computer science, so you knew these things already. Uh, there will be no partiality or something. Uh, they treat everyone equally and also they uh, teach everything from scratch. Uh, they does not uh, start in between or they don't know directly to the advanced part. They teach everything from the scratch. Uh, so, uh, people who had no idea about computer science also. Uh, able to learn uh, these things and uh, they will make you to do projects which is really uh, uh, showcase your uh, skills as well as your uh, the, the project which you do uh, speaks volume rather than just the certification so they will do uh, projects uh, and they will uh, ask you to put those projects in the resume and they will uh, uh, help you to uh, develop your resume as well. Uh, also, uh, so the resume they, uh, just one piece of paper only, but uh, the project that you have put on the resume and also the skills you have mentioned. So these things speaks volume, and they will definitely support to enhance these four things. Understood. I think that's a fair piece of advice, Krishnakan. Uh, thank you so much again for taking out time to do this with us. I hope people watching you will surely get inspiration and start with their data analytics journey as soon as possible. And we wish you all the best for your uh, future job, right? And yeah, thank you so much again. That is it for today's video, guys. I hope you all find it extremely insightful with Krishnakan. He had an amazing journey with Akio Job. In just a span of six months, he was able to land this job as a data analyst intern. If you guys are also interested in learning data analytics, just go to our website, take the aptitude test. The course will definitely help you in analyzing where you stand at the moment. So do make sure that you check out the link provided in the description below. And if you guys are new to the channel, then don't forget to subscribe to the channel and press the bell icon so that you're always notified on all our upcoming videos and do let us know in the comment section below what kind of videos you want to see in the future uh, and uh, we will see you in the next one thank you so much